ever wondered about the hidden dangers lurking in your everyday environment? It's not just about fast food and sedentary lifestyles. Sometimes it's the very air we breathe, the water we drink, the soil we tread upon. There's a world of research unearthing the subtle threats posed by everyday chemicals. Studies are pouring in, linking these seemingly harmless substances to health risks that we often overlook. Chemicals in pesticides and herbicides, for instance, have been under scrutiny lately. Recent studies might just have some alarming news for us. A recent study from the American Academy of Neurology has made a concerning discovery. This study, conducted in the Rocky Mountain and Great Plains regions of the United States, suggests a potential link between exposure to certain pesticides and herbicides and a higher risk of Parkinson's disease. The study identified three specific chemicals, cymazine, atrazine, and lindane. These were found to have the strongest association with Parkinson's disease, a degenerative disorder affecting the nervous system. The findings are significant as they reveal a possible connection between our environment and our health. However, it's crucial to note that these findings are based on county-level data, not individual exposure information. This means the study took into account the general level of exposure in a given area, rather than the specific exposure of each individual. Despite this limitation, the results were startling. People living in counties with the highest exposure to simazine, one of the identified pesticides, were found to be 36% more likely to develop Parkinson's disease compared to those with the lowest exposure. This is a significant increase in risk and certainly a cause for concern. The authors of the study emphasized the need for more in-depth studies to confirm these findings and explore other potentially linked pesticides. This study is a stark reminder of the potential public health concerns associated with chemical exposure and highlights the importance of investigating ways to reduce our exposure to these chemicals. People living in counties with the highest exposure to simazine were 36% more likely to develop Parkinson's disease compared to those with the lowest exposure. These findings, although alarming, do not yet paint the complete picture. This study has unearthed a potential link between exposure to certain pesticides and herbicides, namely cymazine, atrazine, and lindane, and an increased risk of Parkinson's disease. Specifically, people living in counties with the highest exposure to simazine were found to be 36% more likely to develop this condition. However, it's important to remember that this research is based on county-level data, not individual exposure. This means that we can't definitively say that any one person's risk is increased based on their exposure to these chemicals. The study's authors themselves have stressed the need for further, more in-depth research to confirm these findings and investigate the potential link with other pesticides. This is a crucial step in fully understanding the potential public health implications of these everyday chemicals. This research suggests a potential public health concern and highlights the importance of investigating ways to reduce exposure to these chemicals. Stay aware, stay informed, and stay healthy.